Has anyone been? A maid just came with this letter, ma'am. A letter? Give it to me. It's for the doctor, ma'am. I'll put out the lamp. It's daylight now. Yes, daylight and still not back. What's that? Only the maid with a letter for Dr. Tesman. He hasn't got back yet. Neither of them. Oh, yes. I remember now. What time is it? Just after seven. Did you get much sleep? Quite a bit. Didn't you? No, I couldn't. It just wasn't possible. Oh, I shouldn't think there's anything to worry about. Things just dragged on, that's all. All the same. And I know Tesman. He didn't want to come stumbling in in the middle of the night, creating a furore. <laughs> didn't want us to see what state he was in, either. So he's still a Judge Brax. An aided love boy, sitting, reading, with wine and roses. You look deathly. I feel it. Why don't you go to my room and lie down? No, no, I couldn't possibly go to sleep. Yes, you can. I'll let you know as soon as anyone gets back. Thank you. Well, I'll try to. Good morning. Hedda. Up already? Well. Yes, I got up early for once. Well, I was so sure you'd still be sleeping away. What Try about... Try to lower your voice. Mrs. Elfstead's sleeping in my room. Ah, uh, Mrs. Elfstead. No one came for her. Oh, I, I dare say not. Well, did you have a good time? You weren't worried about me there. Not a bit. I asked you, did you have a good time? Best bit was the beginning. Aylert read his book out to me. It was one of the most extraordinary things anyone's ever done. I'm not asking about that. Henry, I have to tell you this. By the time he'd finished reading, something awful came over me. Awful? I sat there, and I knew that I was jealous of Aylert. <sighs> jealous of Aylert love book. Because he'd been able to do something like that. There it is, Edna. There it is. Yes, there it is. Yet with all that supreme gift, what, what hope, what expectation can one hold out? He, he just doesn't know how, when to hold back. What happened finally? Well, looking back on it now, I suppose you might call it almost an orgy. <laughs> Wine and roses. Wine and roses. I don't know about them. I didn't see any. And what he did was ramble out a great, long, confused sort of tribute to the woman who'd inspired him to write the book. I, I mean... Did he say who it was? <laughs> no. I can only assume it was Mrs. Elstead. Where did you oh, leave him? Oh, on the road in. We all of us seemed to split up about the same time. Judge Brack came along as well for a bit of fresh air, and then, well, we all thought we ought to see Aylert off home. He, he really was a bit over the top. Was he? <laughs> but now... This is what I call the strange part, Hedda. Or well, the sad bit, I should say. What? Well, on the road in, I, I fell back a bit. Not much, just a bit, you know. Um. Well, I got to move on to catch up, and then... What do you suppose I found by the side of the road? How could I know? Now, you're not to tell anyone, Hedda. Not a soul. Hmm? I found this. Isn't that what he brought with him yesterday? Yes. The whole irreplaceable, unique, irreplaceable thing. He, he just went out and lost it. Well, think of it, Hedda. It's so awful. No more. Why didn't you give it back to him straight away? I didn't want to, not in the state he was in. Didn't you tell any of the others about it, either? Well, I couldn't let on to them for Aylert's sake. So no one knows you've got the manuscript? No one's going to know either. And what have you been doing all this time? Well, we went back to someone's house for morning coffee. Morning after the night before coffee, I should say. <laughs> well, well, I'll go and get a quick bit of shot and let poor Aylet recover, and then I can pop over to him with this. Not straight away. Let me read it first. 
Oh, my dear sweet little header, I don't think I dare do that. Dare you? Well, no. I mean, just think what he'll feel like when he recovers and, and no manuscript. It's his only copy. Can't that sort of thing be written out again once it's been done? I don't think so. It depends entirely on the inspiration. The moment. You see? Yes. Yes, of course. Auntie Rena's dying. She says if I want to see her again, I'll have to really hurry. Yes. Yes, I will. I'll, I'll run over there right away. Will you run, George? Hedy, you couldn't bring yourself to come with me, could no, you? No, Tesman, please don't ask me to do that. I don't want to be watching illness and death. I can't bear things that are ugly. Yes. Yes, I do, I, I, I do see that. I hope I'm not too late. Just run, George, run. Oh, uh, no, no, I'll keep it for you till you get back. 